Hi friends, it's Anne here and today's video is my third update for my project pan for 2021. So I am doing this in the team project pan style. So I have like a full range of products, albeit a smaller range of products. Last year I kind of went overkill I felt like. It was way too many products for me to manage. Um, actually it wasn't too bad to use but doing the updates was very onerous on me so I wanted to like bring it back in a little bit and also give myself room to do other project pans as well and also in the team project pan style the there's a quarterly refresh which we are at the quarterly refresh so that is the time to take something out if it's not working to roll in something new to add anything to the project kind of give it a little refresh as we shift the seasons we're now getting into spring and i'm super excited although i'm wearing like a nice lighter top and i realize on camera it probably looks a little bit like pajamas but whatever um, it's really cute in person so there's that anyway let's get started with the products the first product in my project pan is this vdl lumi layer primer and it is almost done hopefully you can see there the little line and then i'll put the picture up so you can see the difference I, I don't think I could have finished this this month, but I probably could you could have used a little bit more. Um, the pump has now stopped working. Like I, I can't get the product to go up at, through the pump. So I'm gonna have to start taking the pump off and using it that way. So we're at the end of the road on this one. It's definitely gonna be finished next month. I'm not gonna roll in a new um, primer just because I do have a primer in my other project pan, my drop 10. And I kind of just want to play with the other primers that I have to see if I want to roll one in or not. Um, but for now, we'll just finish this up next month and leave it as is. Um, also, talk about another product later. Sometimes I get a little over eager in rolling in products. So last month, this was 131.22 grams. It's now 126.83 grams. So that's a difference of 4.39 grams, which is about what I've been using every month. In total, I've used 13.38 grams. So yeah, pretty excited to finish this. I It's a fine primer. I don't think it really does anything for me, so I wouldn't repurchase this. If you watched my last update, <laughs> I said that oh, I might use this for like a week and then we'll roll in another product. That did not happen. <laughs> this lasted to the very end of the month. This that I'm talking about is the Maybelline Dream Lumi uh, highlighting concealer, I think. Uh, something like that. It's got a big long name. It just kept going on and on and on. <laughs> like I kept twisting it and finally like near the end what I ended up doing was like I like aggressively twisted it to see and I there was still like it now is like barely turning like it's like yeah, like I'm gonna break it uh, which I guess doesn't really matter because it's done um, and then I just put it in like a little container because a big spurt came out and it's like oh oh there was a lot more in that product than I thought so yeah I made the mistake because I thought this would only be like for a month and then I would use this this is the Benefit Boeing uh, brightening concealer in the shade number one and yeah I never use this at all like at all so we're just pretending like, like that never happened and oh look i'm adding in a correcting concealer in the quarterly refresh look at that so yeah my bad kind of messed that up the last update this was 10.42 grams it finished at 10.12 grams so that was a difference of 0 0.3 grams so that was like half the product though because in total, I used 0 0.59 grams, like almost 0 0.6 grams. So I, I don't know what happened. Now, I say in total, but that's in total since January. Like I rolled this in for my project from last year. So yeah, I should actually look that up and see what the number was, like how much I used. Then I can do like the full total of what I used for this product. And it was, I would say, fairly-ish full when I started it. Um, there was not, not a lot of product in this from the beginning. So I thought... I thought, oh, there's not a lot of product to be really quick and easy to use. That was not the case. I also found though by the end that this was getting a little like thick and it doesn't, it didn't look nice. Like it kept like sticking to certain parts of my eye and yeah, did not look good. So again, <laughs> reintroducing this little guy. Um, it's pretty full. It's not like super full. I'd say it's maybe two thirds full. Um, Again, I've picked this because it's like, it's not a concealer. It's more of like a color corrector. Um, I guess a bit of concealing in it as well. And yeah, it's just a mini as well. So hopefully I can, hopefully I can finish this before the end of the year and I don't get surprised like that other um, color corrector. So the start weight of this is 13.4 grams. 
I know I'm getting close to the end of this as well. This is the Dr. Jared Beauty Beauty Balm. The label is like half worn off. I don't think I'll finish this next month, but I can see myself finishing it in two months, like end of May. I keep having to like sort of bang it to get the pump to keep working. Like I'll, I'll kind of hit it and then eventually this product will come out. Um, but yeah, I, I would say this will be done in two months. So it won't be done end of April, but it'll be done end of May. Um, last update, this was 67.11 grams. It's now 62.97 grams. So that's a difference of 4.14 grams. In total, I've used 13.25 grams of this. So again, it was kind of comparable because you know I was kind of using about the same amount of each product and the same days. So it doesn't make sense that they were about the same. So I have to fess up to another goof. I swear, I swear I'll get better at this project panning stuff. <laughs> Three years into this and I'm still making mistakes. So this is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Everybody knows what this is. My hair is doing something weird and it's really doing something weird. There we go. And most people know what this is. My little sifter inside the top broke out. So when I put the line on the bottom, I didn't realize some of the powder was like on the other side of the sifter. So when I finally like was doing the test, like checking it this time, I was like, ah crap. It basically looks like it's the same um, because I, I messed that up. I also didn't use this a whole lot last, I don't know. I feel like I used it, but I was, I was also testing it that Fenty um, powder. so. I wasn't using this like every day. Um, last update, this was 64.72 grams. It's now 63.87 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.85 grams, which is not bad. Um, I don't know what the total grams of this is. It doesn't say on here. It's gonna take me a while though. Once the warmer months come, I probably will use a little bit more powder. Um, I just don't really need it in the winter time. Like I don't have any now well, maybe I put some powder on this morning. <laughs> like that was a while ago, but yeah, it's fine. Um, I actually don't mind this powder. It's a shame like the little cooling mechanism of it, like it's gone. Um, and it's a shame that Becca's going away, but you know, it is what it is. Life moves on. Okay, we're at about the fifth or sixth item here in the project pan. And this is the Winky Lux Unibrow Universal Brow, this freaking product. So the weight has changed. We are going down. It was 9.02. It is faithfully now 9.01. But when I look at this, I feel like it hasn't changed. It's barely changed and I'm fed up. I am fed up of using this. It is tricky for me to use. I feel like I am getting better at it, um, but I just prefer like a finer pencil and yeah, like there's like based on what I've used in three months, I'm not going to finish this by the end of the year. And I just, I want to call it now because I think I have other eyebrow products that I can finish. I am going to roll in a new product. So I'll talk about that at the end. But yeah, this, this is going to move out of the project because there's no point in like aggravating myself with this anymore. Um, I mean, it's fine. I am wearing it today, but I do find it difficult to use because I have such crappy brows and to like, try and make them look a little more even. This is just difficult for me to use. Um, again, I've gotten a lot better at it, but I still don't prefer it. I do like the color of this though. This actually has a very nice tone to it. Um, anyway, like I said, we have changed by 0 0.1 gram. So it did go down, but it's going away. <laughs> and I'm not decluttering that though. Like I'm just gonna keep it, but it's just, it's going out of the project. The next item is this Avon uh, Mark brand pressed single shadow in the shade Mink. It's got a pretty sizable dent in it. If I don't hit pan next month, it'll be the month after. Like I'm definitely one to two months away of hitting pan on this. I did definitely pick up my pace on using this a little bit more. So last month this was 5.66 grams. It's now 5.61 grams. So that's a difference of 0.05 grams, but in total for three months, I've used 0.07. So obviously the majority was in this last month. I definitely was just purposely, purposely using this a lot more this past month. And I want to continue to do that. It's a really easy shadow that I can just add in with any sort of look that I'm doing. I actually could have put it on today and I didn't, that was dumb. Missed opportunity. Okay. We're getting into some, what I call doozy products because they're challenging. I've made this project Probably too hard for myself, but whatever. The next item in my project is the Tarte Blush Bazaar. This is from the holiday 2017. 
I slowed off on using this by quite a bit. Um, I barely use this. I shouldn't say I barely use this, but I would say about, I only used it maybe half the month because I bought like three blushes this month. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about that in the buys and buys. <laughs> I need to, I need to, whoa, Nelly, <laughs> calm down a little bit, especially on blushes. But yeah, so let's just, I'll explain like the weights. It was 128 grams last month. It's now 127.87 grams. That's only a difference of 0 0.13 grams, which I'm pretty sure last month I did like 0 0.2 or something. But yeah, I I barely touched this. I did focus mostly on this shade, um, Angelic and Skillful. I, I've talked about that, that Skillful is one that I've been kind of focusing on. I've also sort of popped into Authentic and Extraordinary. Extraordinary is really, really pretty. That's what I actually have on right now. It's one of those ones that's got like a bit of sheen to it. It's a little bit like Orgasm. You can probably see it on my finger there. It's got like a bit of sheen um, to it. It's really pretty. So I'm looking forward to wearing like these two in the summer. It's like stuck my nail in that one. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I need to like do better. And then I didn't, I barely use the highlights in this. Like I, I was kind of focusing on my essence highlighter and then just playing with like other highlighting things that I have. So yeah, slow on that one. The next one though, this one's moving along. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. If you did not know, if you did not know, welcome to the makeup community. You now know. You will see this everywhere. <laughs> um, the pan, I know. So I haven't done my photos yet. I've done all the weights, but I haven't taken photos yet. But I definitely know that the pan on this is getting bigger because this had like a weird wonky like thing, peninsula <laughs> in it. And it's not there anymore. So I can, I can definitely tell that this pan is getting a lot bigger. And I, I think I want to keep using it like this for one more month. And then I'm going to repress it just because it is starting to get like pretty close to the edges. Last month, this was 60.5 grams. It's now 60 grams even, so 0 0.5 grams changed. I've used almost a gram of this, so 0 0.99 grams. So I feel like that's pretty good. So a product that won't look like it, but I did step up my use on this. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And what I'm really focusing on is just trying to hit pan along the bottom here. And you won't be able to see it on camera, and I don't know if I can even take a picture of it, but when I touch it, it's like flat. Like this part right here is flat, and that's what I've been working on. So I think I still think it's gonna take me forever to hit the pan on that, but I have been using this a lot more, and I'm happy about that. Like I like this. It's, it's a really nice highlighter. I definitely will not declutter this. I will use it until it is no more. Well, it'll probably outlive me to be honest, or if it, if it goes bad, which is gonna take a really long time. Like powder products just last a long time for the most part. So last month, this was 51.62 grams. It's now 51.51 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.11 grams. Um, just again, in total, I've used 0 0.16. So you can tell that like I've used more this past month than I used in the previous two months combined, I think. Yeah, basically I've used more this, this past month than I have in the previous two months combined. So go me. Good job. So we're getting through that. The next item in my project is this Milani lip liner in 04 All Natural. You see this in a lot of my videos. If you ever look at my comments where I say what I'm wearing, because I pretty much have this on every day, except for today I actually don't have it on. I used 03 under this lipstick because it didn't really matter. I just kind of wanted to have a, a cleaner edge with the bright lipstick. But yeah, this is going to take a while. <laughs> like lip liners just take forever. I don't. And I, I'll be honest, I've been slacking on using this a little bit just because I kind of keep forgetting about it to be honest but I still have used it last month it was 2.62 grams it's now 2.5 grams that's a difference of 0 0.12 grams so in total I've used 0 0.23 grams which is not bad again this will this <laughs> so stupid it's so small but this will take me all year to finish which is ridiculous lip liners last forever forever ever 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 Let's, let's not do that. Let's not get my like copyright strike here <laughs> on this video. So what I'm replacing the Winky Luxe Brow product with is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. And this is in the shade Brunette Betty. I'm just going to focus on finishing the pencil side. I'll probably still use the ink side as well every once in a while. But my focus is this pencil side. Um, that's where it's at right now. Hopefully you can see that. There's not a whole lot. So I actually feel like this is actually achievable to finish. Um, and in the past my past experience with a pencil product like that I, I have finished one in a year uh usually no problem 
the Winky Lux product is proving me wrong. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to move forward with this and we'll see how this one goes. It is a little too red, like I find it's too warm tone, but my hair is a bit warm tone, although on camera it's probably looking, it looks pretty dark on camera, it's hard to see. Um, but it does have a bit of redness to it, so even though I don't really like when my brows are warm, regardless of my hair color, it, it'll, it'll at least match, like it won't look funky. So anyway, this is a starting, uh, this is a, this is a starting, this is starting at nine grams. And then I've decided to add in a new product and like it's a new new category and everything to this project pan. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water in Centering Citrus. I don't really care for this too much. Um, I just want to finish it up. I drew a little line on it so you can see where we're starting. And hopefully, I again, I, I don't know. I don't know how long this will take. Um, I don't know if it'll be something I will fly through or if it will take me all year. I would say, I, I've never used the regular primer water so I don't know what it's like. This has a very synthetic, like a plasticky citrus smell. So I don't like the smell of this. I was intending when I bought this uh, that it would be like a nice, you know, refreshing wake up spray when I was getting ready. But then I was like, oh, I don't like that smell very much. I mean, it's okay. It's not just not great. And it was just kind of like an unnecessary step. So I just didn't do it. <laughs> um, see, as you can see, like, and I've had this for like a year, more than a year, because I think I bought this in 2019. So yeah, like it's just time to move on. It's just time to use it. And this is the type of product I need these project pans because there are certain products like this that will just sit there and I will never use them. And then it goes to waste. So I don't mind if I buy something and I decide I don't like it, I don't mind like just finish it and I just know I won't buy it again. But I get annoyed at myself when I buy something and then I don't really like it. If I really don't like something, like it's fine, like just let it go. But if I just kind of like eh on it, but then I just let it sit and let it sit. And then what ends up usually happening is that it like festers and then it's too old to use and you're like, well, I gotta throw it out now. And it's like, well, that's kind of wasted. So I might as well just use it and then not waste it. Does that make sense? So this is why I need the project pan though, because this will just sit there and I won't use it. So having the project pan forces me to, to finish this product up. But like I said, I, I don't see myself repurchasing this or even purchasing the primer water. I've never been a water spray person like I never the I think it's the Avene um I don't know what it's called but like yeah the Avene aqua spray and like some people I think are really into that and it's just it's never been my jam so that's that so I guess a quick little status update we have 11 active products in the project there are two products that I have finished and one product that I have taken out of the project so that's not bad. It's a, again, a bit of a smaller project than last year where I was doing the 20 and 2020 and that was a lot. So anyway, I hope you liked this little update. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, it'd be great if you did subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.